Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do as I implement my lighting setup, I'm going to look at the camera. Uh, so you'll see that there's a skybox in here and a uh, background. What I want to do is this, so select your main camera. This part right here where it says clear flags, this is saying, what do you want to render if you don't see, if there's no geometry, like it's just the vast empty nothing, right? Like everything back here. And it defaults to the skybox. Um, I, I think it's more presentable and aesthetically pleasing just to give it a solid color. So I'm just, I'm gonna do that. And then you can change the solid color. I would recommend doing this to match your environment. If I'm doing a nighttime level, maybe I do something like that. Um, let's say I'm doing an outdoor kind of foresty castle level something. Uh, I'm gonna do something like that. Okay, so once you have that background, um, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go to my rendering path. So I mentioned the difference between forward and deferred rendering. Um, deferred will allow you to support a lot more real-time lights. And, um, uh, sorry, that's deferred. And then forward is the default. It's currently in forward um, defaults to uh, use graphic settings. You can actually set that in the graphic settings or you can set it per camera. Um, I'm just, for simplicity, I'm going to just set it here in the camera, but just know if you have multiple cameras, you might want to set it in the graphic setting, um, but you can find it there as well. So I'm going to select deferred. And um, that should set this up. Um, and that should be all we need to do for the camera. So um, I'm going to pause here and then break this out into other sections.